Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside. Come inside. Back in the garage with the Sunset Shimmer Guitar Project. We're getting there. It's got to end sometime. We'll be done sometime really soon now. So, a couple things that happened this episode. One, we need to drill and countersink the mounting holes in the pick guard so we can drill and mount it in the body. So all this stuff's got to come back out and that's got to get done. Um, second thing is that we need to install and drill the holes for the mounts on our tuners. Now I went ahead and did something. It may work, it may not. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, I put this on. So this actually is in Sunset's guitar. If you look, remember looking at the art, it actually has that, as you can see. Um, so I'm not sure this is too big, too small, right shape. We're gonna put the tuners in it and see what it looks like first. And we may or may not take it off. So let's get started. Okay guys, to get this done, we'll have to install these in our holes. We'll have to take a straight edge on the back to make sure that they're straight. Mark our holes and then drill with a 1 16th drill bit and then put in our screws. So let's get started. Okay guys, I uh, didn't have anything very small to sand with, so I'm just rolling a piece of sandpaper up on one of my screwdrivers here. I'm just reaming out the holes a little bit to get them to fit. Still, the only, only thing that's in here is a little bit of the paint, a little bit of the clear coat. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit off and slide right in. So I'll get this done and we'll be right back. Okay guys, uh, got the holes reamed out, got our tuners pushed in, not quite installed. We just want to get a line right now. And we got to take our time doing this because once these once these are drilled, that is it. So we're going to make sure these are straight as an arrow. Oh. Adjustment to a couple of these. And there we go. So nice and straight. Now we just have to mark them, pull these back out. Drill our 1 16th holes, very shallow, and get those installed. All right? Bear back. Okay guys, as you listen to the rhythm of the pouring rain, as it's raining here in San Jose today, it's time to put the tuners in here for good. They don't come back out this time. I'm excited. Let's do it. Make sure you have the correct screwdriver for these screws or you'll strip them and that's not a good idea. Time. Don't strip anything, don't slip and scratch the head. All that stuff.
You just want to snug these. You don't want to torque them down and crack the paint. So just get them snug. Make sure this is tight. One of six. Let's make it all work. There it is. That is gonna look awesome. I love it. <sighs> I put a couple of string retainers in here, but that's done, ready to go on the body. We're close. Okay guys, now that the neck is taken care of, we need to take care of this. So I've stripped it of all its components, and now what we need to do is we need to drill these holes where I've marked and countersink them by hand because it's a little, using a drill press a little too fast, it'll melt the plastic and these are countersunk screws. So we're gonna have to hand countersink every one of these. I took a measurement off of this old pick guard and they are about doo -doo -doo -doo, six millimeters in from the edge. I've got my positions marked. I wanna make sure I'm six millimeters in from the edge so I have plenty of room to do my countersink. So I just need to lay those out and we'll get on with it. Okay guys, we're about ready to do this. Um, I did do some practice holes on my old pit guard. As you can see, they've come out very nicely. So I just have to make sure I get them in the right position, and this should come out just fine. Should. Don't jinx it, Dusty. Ha ha, we have holes. Now let's countersink them. Okay, the drilling went awesome. Now all we need to do is countersink these holes. Now, I don't know if many of you know what countersink means, so I'll explain it to you really quick with this screw. Now, we have the holes in here, right? But the screw actually is sitting a little proud, right? So what we have to do is we have to use our countersink auger to basically carve into the plastic to make that sit flush. And it's really fiddly, it's really delicate so you have to do each individual hole very slowly and use the screw for testing so this is going to take a bit so watch me oh boy i hope you hear that it's raining now in san jose good day to do this kind of stuff Quite, a little bit more. Oh, still a little bit more. It's gonna take a while. Aha, there we go. Not bad. It's gonna take forever, so you know what? You guys go get a drink. I'll be here when when I'm done. Just come back in a little bit. I'll be done in a bit. <sighs> it's gonna take them forever, but it'll be worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That was the last one. And don't let anybody tell you that this is not a handmade guitar. <laughs> Moving on. Discord, I told you to stay away. I asked you nicely. I even gave you a glass of chocolate rain. But no, you got to mess with me, don't you? Okay, guys, we have a serious issue. So, these are the tailpiece stops, okay? The tailpiece which holds the strings goes on here like that and holds the bar and the strings, see? These studs are supposed to go in these two holes. These holes aren't nowhere near big enough. So, in trusting that the gentleman who made this body for me drilled them correctly, I should have checked it. Again, first time building this anything guitar. Um, so, this has to be a half an inch hole. These are about 445, which is almost, geez, 50 thou under. Which just can't you can't do that. It's gonna crack the wood. It's gonna crack the paint. It's gonna crack everything. So we're gonna have to drill it. Mhm. Mm we're gonna have to take this beautifully painted, polished guitar and put it under the drill press. You thought I was nervous before? <laughs> you have no idea. But we gotta do it. We gotta get it done, or this this isn't gonna get built. So you know what? Uh, glory does not go to the meek, so let's get it done. Okay, guys. To say I'm nervous would be an understatement. Half inch drill bit. Work is locked down to the table. It is square. It is lined up. Depth is set. Let's make a hole. I just gotta do it again, one more time. Well, crisis averted, I hope. So now these just barely fit in there like they're supposed to. Awesome. Now we just need to tap those in there and we're all good. Mallet. This is the first part going in this body. Oh, hell of a hell of a step. Oh yeah, perfect. Next. There we go. Whee! Okay guys, I went ahead and knocked the first of the two bridge supports in and it's nice and flush and awesome. Now you might be wondering why I've got a wire run through my body. Well, this is the very first part of the electrics that we're going to be doing on this guitar because this needs to be grounded. It is an electrical guitar, so the strings need to be grounded. That's how it gets grounded through the bridge. So when we shove this new one in, we're just going to put this wire against it and shove it in there and we'll get a really good contact. Let's see, what we're going to do is strip some of this. Like that. Move this down into position. As we shove this in, we'll just move that wire down with it. Guys, put the humbuckers back in, 
set it in and make sure all of these holes fit. Had to do a little bit of adjustment, not much. I'm happy with it. Now I need to mark these holes and drill with my very small drill bit about that deep. Don't go any deeper, Dusty. So let's mark them up and get going. This is going to be much easier with a hand drill. You just have to be very careful with it. So, here we go. <sighs> Very nice. I think I knew what I was doing or something. Man, that was a lot of work today. A lot of stuff got done. I'm loving this. I'm... I can't take my eyes off it. It's so pretty. It, it's so pretty. It is. Now, our pit guard is drilled countersunk, screwed in, it's not coming off. Our surrounds for our humbuckers are drilled, screwed in, they're not coming off. Our tailpiece, our bridge, are installed, and they're not coming off. Nope, they're not coming off at all. Which means, we're almost done. But, one of the big things we got to do is we need to install those and wire it. We got these wires hanging out here that need to be connected to something. So this baby will make some sound. So hopefully by next episode, our pretty little guitar will be making some sound. Hopefully. Maybe. If we're lucky. But that's next episode. So, we're now at episode 10. I'm hoping I can get this done in just a couple more episodes. We have about a month, maybe a little less, till BabsCon. So we need to get this done, wired, making sound, so I can take it to my buddy and he can do a complete setup on it. And then we have a real working guitar. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. So, we'll see you at episode 11. Ciao.